Welcome to the module on how to register in e-invoice API user registration. For user registration, go to einvoice1.gst.gov.in on your web browser. After landing on the page, you will see login option on your right hand side. It's the eighth option on the menu bar. As soon as you click on login, you will find a pop-up. Here you need to log in with a registered e-invoice username and password and enter the CAPTCHA available and press login. Post that, you will be logged into your dashboard. Click on API registration bar. It is the fourth option on the left side of the screen. Scroll down to the user credentials. It is the second option under API registration. Click on user credentials. You will find create API user option. Now click on it. You will find a pop-up which says new OTP sent to your registered mobile number. Click on OK. You will receive the OTP on your registered mobile number. Enter the OTP in the e-invoice portal in the required area and click verify OTP. Post verification, you will find a new pop-up which says OTP verified successfully. Then click OK. The web page will direct you to API registration screen you are required to click on the second option, that is, through GSP process. You will find the Select Scroll Down option. Click on the drop down list. Select Signet Infotech Private Limited in the drop down. After selection of GSP, enter the preferred API username and password. You can create a username and password of your own. Please re enter the same password to confirm. We suggest you save this username and password in an Excel for future reference. This will be the API credential to be entered in your Seller Central account at Amazon.in. After filling required details, click on Submit. You will see a new pop-up mentioning that the API user registration of e-invoicing is created successfully. Click OK. By following these steps, you have now completed the e-invoice API user registration. To check whether the e-invoice API user registration was done successfully, go to the home symbol on the left side of the corner of the e-invoice portal and click on it. You will now see the API registration dashboard. In the dashboard, go to the API registration bar on your screen's left side corner, fourth option. Now scroll down to the user credentials in the second option under API registration. As soon as you click on user credentials, you can find list of API user option. Now click on it. You can now find your API registered user ID. Please check and confirm the user ID. Type of user should be GSP and the registration company should be Signet Infotech Private Limited. Post successful registration of e-invoice, API username, log into the Seller Central account on Amazon.in. In Seller Central, go to the settings option on the top right side of the page and select Tax Settings. Under Tax Settings, scroll down to the e-invoice widget. On opening the widget, you will find an authorization checkbox and statewise credential update option. Please read Amazon's terms and conditions before checking the box. You can now check the box and click on Save. This is required to authorize Amazon to generate e-invoice on your behalf. Post authorization, expand the box of each state by clicking on the drop-down widget. Provide the e-invoice API username and password registered earlier on the e-invoice portal and click on Update. Please note, these steps have to be repeated for each state and the government has mandated API username and password requirements for each GSTIM. Please note, your username need to be different and unique for each state. However, you may have the same password for each username. Further, ensure to enter the credentials of the corresponding state and make no mistake in selecting the state. Few suggestions while generating credentials. Try to keep the username short with a mention of the state name, Amazon or Signet for easy identification. For example, e-invoice username for company ABC's Karnataka GSTIN can be API underscore ABC underscore KA underscore AMZ. We suggest you to save the statewide username and password in an Excel for future reference. Do not share the password for login to the e-invoice portal with anyone. Username and passwords are case sensitive. 
Please be careful by entering the username and password. This wraps up our module on e-invoice API user registration. Thank you and happy selling.